Typography is a big part of animation. Artists use it in many projects they work on. So it is very important to stylize and bring motion to typography to communicate and reach audiences at any time and with the right emotion and adding value to it quickly and easily. There are a lot of handy plugins out there to help you do that. And you can do this without spending a lot of hours doing it manually, saving you time, effort and money. So without further ado, we're gonna start with Typo King. Typo King is a plugin that has more than 1000 elements that you can adjust and manipulate. Before applying anything in your project, you can make use of its previewer because you can choose and browse to find what you're looking for quickly and easily. And you can do this to create seamless text animations. Besides, you can find a lot of categories to choose from and they are all customizable in terms of colors, duration and characters directly from the panel which makes it a great solution for typography needs. We also have Font Manager and as the name suggests, it is a script for managing fonts and animating typography. It has everything you need in one panel. You can create an entire typeface with shapes and animate them, copy and paste the animation and sort them. Now, this one is really exciting. Autofill is mainly used to reveal text and titles. That doesn't mean you can't use it in other places because it lets you apply the name fill, apply fill to text or shapes based on its alpha channels and you can do this when revealing it. It also lets you create a fluid fill reveal animation in addition to handwriting effects which is just amazing. Next we have text delay which is a plugin that delays your text animation by character, word or line while keeping your animation simple. It works nicely with the text animator so you can use the range selector to select and control your delay to get the animation you want easily and quickly. It is also compatible with motion blur. Basically it is one of those plugins that does one thing and it does it really well. We also have text box. It basically creates a perfectly sized box for your text which is customizable and updatable with your text. You don't have no separate shape, no parenting, just a box behind your text that will follow it and be adjustable to it. Next we have artificial intelligence titles. It is a set of features that allow you to apply some special effects, in addition to changing size, creating a box behind it, changing its position and a lot more customizations. It lets you change every aspect of your text, literally almost everything. Next on the list we have Typetune. It lets you create titles that look 3D using only 2D tricks in a cartoonish style with an amazing animation and a lot of templates to choose from and ready to customize and adjust your liking in one simple panel. And the animations can be looped perfectly which is just great. For text animation we have Text Force. If you are used to deal with a lot of text or paragraphs and you don't want to animate every word one by one, Text Force is the answer for you. It lets you animate every word or sentence based on the punctuation or separation you have in your paragraphs and you can animate them and adjust them all at once and you can do some adjustments after that as well. If you want to find the perfect text style, Textile Studio with its big library of text styles, animations and its categories, there is no doubt you will find something that suits you. The panel of this plugin is grouped logically and they did this in three parts. You can adjust and customize everything in your title, which allows you to find and tweak something that you like definitely. This next plugin actually brings something different. With this plugin, you can split text layers into characters, words and lines without dealing with layers and menus, giving you that relief of not needing to open and dig in, in every drop down menu to reach one thing that you want. The plugin has everything in one panel and it preserves any animation you want to put in there without dealing with any annoying expressions. It also allows you to exclude or choose one word and line to separate from the rest if you ever need that. This in addition to dealing with animations without leaving the panel which makes the plugin powerful indeed. Next up we have a plugin called Effect Mat. In the work of typography animation, we deal with masking and matting a lot and it takes a lot of time to set up and fill our timeline with a lot of duplicated layers. This is why it is nice to find a plugin like this to take that hassle away from us. With Effect Matte, you don't have to go through tedious masking or matting and you can apply it directly to your text and with few clicks, you can achieve the result you are looking for. You can do adjustments on the fly, you can animate and turn the matte invisible, reducing the amount of things you need to deal with, which is just great. 
On the other hand, Cartoon Mode Blur is a really nice plugin that adds a stylized motion trail to your graphics, just like regular motion blur, but it is more cartoonish. It is really customizable and fun to use, it is just simple, great, and colorful. We also have Shadow Studio, which is a native plugin that simulates a variety of different shadow styles, including soft, radial, inner, and long shadows. The plugin includes three presets to create popular styles. You can try it and see what it can do because it is just so good. If you are in a hurry and you want to finish your work before the deadline, the Animation Composer is the solution for you. Because in few clicks you can achieve a lot of things. With its huge library of adjustable motion presets, pre-compositions and sounds, and additional handy features, you can save yourself a lot of time. Animation Composer is powerful because you can apply and test presets to your objects really quickly. You can do this in a very sophisticated interface that is easy to use. And it is organized in categories to help you find what you're looking for. This is all we have for today. If you are interested in one of these plugins, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.